Hello everyone. Uh, it's a Friday night and I am home by myself. <laughs> um, my daughter stayed the night at my dad's house. It's his birthday. Happy birthday, dad. And um, I am here and um, I was actually reading my Bible, but I stopped a little bit. I am reading my Bible. See, I stopped a little bit because um, I wanted to touch a subject because um, I'm constantly getting approached by this subject. And I like to share my views, but this time I just want to put it on camera so that everybody can see and I don't have to keep answering the question, hopefully. But uh, the subject is sex. Of course, we all know what it is to have sex, to indulge in sex, to enjoy sex, to hate sex, 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 sex. <laughs> so I wanted to talk about that. And um, coming from a Christian's perspective, I wanted to touch it on how I view sex. Not how you view sex, but how I view sex. And um, especially towards men, because they ask me these questions all the time. And as soon as I meet a guy, he talks about sex. So that is telling me that he's definitely not for me. So FYI, if a man talks about sex on the first night, he probably want to get in your pants. He's not trying to love you. He's not trying to get to know you. He just wants a side partner with some benefits. So if he approaches you like that and you're looking for a real man, I'm going to need you to just slide on that one, okay? <laughs> so anyway, so um, basically I'm just going to put me as an example because I'm talking about me. So um, my perspective is like, I don't like to have multiple sex partners. And for one, I definitely like to avoid even talking about sex when I first meet a guy. Because as you know, which we all grown, so I'm going to keep it real. When you talk about sex with a man, um, he gets a little bit aroused. He might get a little bit excited. He might ponder in his mind what he think might happen later on that night. And um, if that's not what's on your mind, then you're totally giving him the wrong perspective. You're getting his hopes up. You're giving him false hope, however you want to put it. So for me, I just don't like talking about this subject at all. Because if I was him, I wouldn't want a girl telling, talking about sex. And then later on, she's telling me she don't want to have sex with me if that's what I intended. So if I wouldn't like that, I wouldn't want to put that on the male either. So... First of all, I avoid talking about sex the first night. Second of all, I believe that I don't like having sexual uh, a lot of sexual partners because um, when you give when you give yourself to a person, especially within the next within the, within like what five days of meeting them, you don't really know if it's gonna last. So let's say if you slept with a person on the first night, and let's say the next day. Y'all got into an argument or you realized he wasn't the one or he realized you wasn't the one or he went back to his girlfriend or you went back to your man or whatever this, whatever the situation is. Um, my point is that you guys departed after you guys had intercourse. So what that's telling me is now you have one more um, sex partner to add to your list. And then secondly, you just gave yourself up and you're kind of sort of carving away at your worth so that your Mr. Right or Mr. Uh, or Mrs. Right can enjoy their full gift, which would be you. So you are cheating your Mr. Right and your Mrs. Right by keep giving away their goods because by the time you get to that person, sex will not be um, exciting like it's intended. So by the time you get to that Mr. Right or Mrs. Right, you won't be able to give them your full, um, you know, sex drive or your full being, your full love, your full affection, your full, um, you know, adoration and all that good stuff, which is you're supposed to love sex as a uh, married couple. So, you know, we all are adult and I can say that. So that's the reason why I don't like having sex, because I really don't know these days. Sorry, my hair sticking up, but I really don't know these days about men, especially, um, you know, men that you can already tell what they own by what they dress like, by what, how they speak, um, you know, uh, how they actually approach you. You can basically tell 
what a man is thinking and what he wants to do with you and how he sees you in his life. And vice versa as far as the male perspective when he sees a woman. If she has on a short skirt, uh, you can kind of sort of, um, conclude that she's kind of promiscuous or she wants the attention she, even if she doesn't indulge in sex with you she's giving that um, vibe off so that's actually her fault so um, that's the reason why I don't have multiple sex partners now to go deeper on the spiritual level because once again I am reading my bible so I'm going to talk about the spiritual the, 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 the spiritual uh, perspective perspective also so, um, which I used to speak about this in Spoken Word, which is one of my uh, first poems I actually wrote in reference to abstinence and the importance of abstinence, which was a powerful, powerful poem. And um, I will do that in one of these videos uh, for you guys. But anyway, um, so when you have sex with somebody, you're not only having sex with their flesh, but you're having sex with, with their soul. So let's say... If you are if you're having sex with their soul, then that means their soul or their spirit is gonna um, is gonna stick with you when you when you move on. So let's just say if I had sex with somebody with their flesh, and I'm once again from my perspective, I'm I'm having sex with not only their flesh, but I'm having sex with their spirit. So when let's say if, again if it doesn't work out, and the next day I decide to move on, the next person that I meet. I it won't it's it's just uh, automatic that I would think about the guy that it didn't work out. So that's me carrying his spirit. So if you think about the numerous of uh the numerous of altercations or sexual relations that you have in the future, just think of how many souls you're carrying or how many spirits you're carrying on you into your new relationship. And that is the reason why Relationships these days don't work if you just got out of a relationship because you're still pondering on the old rela relationship, which is, again, happening because you are, first of all, you're, you're not practicing abstinence, with God, uh, which God intended us to have it secretly with our loved ones, which are with, with, with our husband or with our wife, because it's so secret, it's so precious, it's so um, just amazing, and it's, and it's, and it's great for what it is was intended for is for the two bodies becoming one and you guys actually be on being one and enjoying life as one so um that's the reason why relationships don't work because first of all you're sinning anyway you're not supposed to be having sex and you can't seem to have a decent relationship because of your past uh, once again the spirits that you carry with you that are holding you as a burden because you always say oh yeah, but my last boyfriend did this, and it's hard for me to trust you because this happened, and yeah, my baby mama cheated on me, and yeah, my girlfriend did this or did that. That's all because, first of all, you was not supposed to have any sexual relations. So let's think about it, and let's talk about it. If you didn't have sexual relations, if you didn't have sexual relations, it would be so much easier for us as people, as society, to move on. We wouldn't carry grudges. We wouldn't have any animosity. We wouldn't have anger. And it would be easier for us to meet new people and give them ourselves as far as, like, who we are, show them who we are without having sex. And things will go a lot smoother because um, if you're not having sex, a person can get to know you without even having any sexual relations with you. So that means that while they're waiting... Um, you know, waiting to have sex or waiting to marry you or whatever the case may be, they're actually getting to know you. And if it doesn't work out, you have no spiritual attachments. You can just move forward, which it still might be a little bit hard, a little bit hard, but it won't be as as hard as to you guys having sex and then you having to move on. So that's just my general perspective about sex and the reason why I just don't like it. I honestly don't like it because I feel like I just want to wait. I want to wait. I want to give myself fully to my man. I want him to uh, open me, excuse me, <laughs> accept me with open arms. I didn't mean to say that. <laughs> accept me with open arms and just love me and just embrace me and appreciate me for saving myself. Not being that, you know, that Jane Doe on the street, you know, 
having sex with this person or that person. That it can actually be secret. It can be uh, reliable. It can be dependable. And he can um, get to know me for who I am and respect me for who I am and love me that much more. So that's just my perspective. Uh, if you guys want to uh, talk about it or you want to debate or you want to share or you want to agree or you want to disagree, I'm all open to your feedback. But, uh, yeah, Sex 101. Peace out.